it's me, Renee. I'm back. And yeah, as you can see, it's still October, so I'm going with my theme of like talking about scary things and scary-ish things. So today, as you can see, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to title this video yet, but yeah, I'm going to talk about things that scared me in my, I was about to say, in my past, well, in my past, in my childhood, uh, or in other words, uh, movies that kind of, yeah, very much scared me. Uh, with, uh, you know, movies and one TV series, but yeah. As, as I said before, I don't really like to be scared, but I suppose even if you don't like to be scared, you kind of be scared sometimes because, I mean, even if you don't like, if you think you're going to an action movie or if you're going, if you're just kind of clicking around on TV, as we did in the old days, we just kind of switched on the TV, we didn't go on streaming, we kind of switch around on TV channels, and something looks fun, you watch it, and then Suddenly, five minutes in, you're scared as F because something very scary happens. I mean, even me as a scared pants, sometimes I can't really avoid being scared. Uh, but yeah, um, I remember, for example, and I, I'm not really quite sure if this, like, this memory because it's one of my memories that I kind of have from my early childhood, like when I was young. I don't remember if like this was the first time I saw it, but I do remember that like. Um, from like, I do like have this vivid memory of, I was watching, uh, anyway, I was watching it at home, not in cinema, so I suppose, well, I don't know if I watched it in cinemas, anyway, yeah, uh, so I was at my friend's house, and we were watching HP1, and uh, I mean, I suppose you wouldn't really think you could be that scared from the first one, but like, at, at, at this time I was, I'm thinking I was like nine, yeah, I was nine, I was, yeah, I was, Biggish, but like, uh, I've been scared of things for a long time and I'm still kind of scared of things easily. Uh, but yeah, so for most of the movie, it was fine, it was just entertainment and nice. But then at the end, like the very end, well, very end, I like the climax when the professor and HP is in the like, uh, room of mirrors or room of Eris, uh, with the mirror of Erised and. Uh, the professor kind of takes off his uh, kind of headgear with his. Uh, he takes off his head scarf. I suppose it's scarf in a way, and you kind of see the back of the hand. Yeah, I, I was so scared. I just ran behind the couch and I could not watch. Like even if like my friends kept on watching, I I couldn't watch. So I was just like behind the couch until like the whole the whole scene was over. And actually, I could not, I tell you, I could not watch that whole scene until I was like, I think I didn't see it until I was like 20. So yeah, I was seriously old before I watched the whole scene, like, without, like, hiding. So yeah, that's the thing that's kind of stuck with me. And yeah, for a long time, I was very scared of that scene. I suppose in a way, it is kind of one of the scary things in that movie. But yeah, for me, like personally, I could not watch it. I just kind of ran away from it for many, many years. Uh, similar, so similar, uh, similarly, so I suppose, side note, well, side note. This movie, this video will be a lot of me talking about my memories, anecdotes with movies, I suppose, kind of like in the idea of it, really. But yeah, so you get to know me a bit more. Uh, but yeah, similarly, one day, me and some friends, I think maybe we were eight. I think maybe we were 10, 8, 9, 10, around that age. We went to a friend's house, it was me and maybe like five or four friends, something like that. And we ended up watching this old movie, kind of, my pants Labyrinth, a labyrinth uh, from the 80s, that David Bowie movie. And I suppose, I mean, it's, I mean, people know that it's kind of scary at times because, I mean, it, it's kind of supposed to be scary, it's kind of all about these monsters or monsters -ish and that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I couldn't even watch like the first five minutes because again, okay, spoiler. Well, it's not a real spoiler. It's an old movie and it happens very early in the movie. But yeah, anyway, but like five minutes into the movie, uh, a baby starts to scream, and just the sound of hearing a baby screaming it just terrified me so much. It just gave me chills, and I was just I don't know. It just maybe something biological in me. I don't know. I just I could not uh, stand it. it, was just, it just gave me chills and like I was so scared, so frightened of just 
like it wasn't it wasn't like anything else it wasn't like a scary a baby that was scary or something around the baby that was scary it was just a baby screaming screaming at the top of his lungs like still screaming uh yeah it just freaked me out so much that i ran out or out of the room we were watching a movie in and i just kind of thought like okay this is good this is good it just kind of had this feeling i was just being so scared and freaked out i was in a way shocked i wasn't shocked i was just yeah so scared so i actually also ended up walking out of like the because we were at my friend's house i would out of our house because like i, I couldn't i couldn't deal it was just so scary uh so i went out and i just kind of walked to my own house which was like maybe 10 minutes away from my friend's house so it was as it was a bit of a walk though not like a long walk but a bit of a walk as well as kind of it was a statement i could not watch the movie <laughs> one of my friends she went out with me because she was nice and yeah but the rest of them watched the whole movie and yeah i, I just could not watch the movie it's just so so it just freaked me out so much and i actually didn't really watch the whole of pants lab pants i mean i'm trying uh, not a movie i didn't watch the whole of labyrinth until i was like i think i was 17. i think i was 17 years and at that point, I kind of I was was mature enough to watch the whole movie. At that, that point, I enjoyed the movie, but like I suppose to this day, Pan's Lab, no, Pan's Lab, no, Pan's Lab, the Labyrinth. For me, like the first memory of it was like this very scary, unsettling feeling. And like second memory is like it was a movie. I feel like a lot of people have like this. Movie as one of the cult favorite or like the all time favorites or just like one of their favorites or yeah one of the favorites, and for me, it's a movie. I, I have some, I have some memories attached to it, but it's not really a movie that I'm like that attached to in any way or not really at this point in time. It's just a movie that exists really. Uh, yeah, let me check my notes. Yes, yeah, so those two have mentioned. Yeah, then we have um. Uh, okay, so this is again a bit mean, I suppose, because it's not an English movie. It's not like uh, well, it's not American movie or English movie. It's a Norwegian movie, but um, I want it's it's a movie that kind of had an effect on me. So I want to talk about it anyway. Uh, so it's a Norwegian movie from like two thousand and I think like maybe four, four, three around there. Like so, I was well, I suppose I would be like ten or twelve, ten, eleven. Yeah, I think I was 10, 10 11 when I saw it. So around that age, as was also like it was kind of I think it was like meant for people a bit younger than me. Maybe it was meant for my age. No, for yeah. Anyway, I don't really remember. But yeah. So the plot of the movie is that uh, a girl, she's yeah, ten, eleven, and her dad. Hmm, they've just been those two for a long time. I don't remember what happened to her mom, but yeah, her mom's not in the picture. And then her dad gets a new wife. Uh, um. Yeah, I think they move together, like, with this new wife uh, to a new house. And then wife, she has a daughter, so it's kind of this clash of two families. Uh, I suppose it's kind of a ca comedy, but it's more like a drama comedy. I would say maybe horror. Um, yeah, it has horror elements to it, definitely. Uh, because, like, this... Okay, so this new stepmom, she's a um, sorority... No, she's not sorority. She's a miss. She's a pageant woman. Yeah, that happens in a way as well. And so she's very fixated on like uh body and body image stuff like that and so towards her own kids she's like only eat two bites of whatever you eat never eat the whole food and like her own daughter had like just a tiny biscuit for like uh, breakfast and nothing more just like a tiny biscuit and maybe like a little bit of water so yeah it was just very strict and like very over the top really because it was yeah because that's how you stay thin, I suppose. Um, and then, uh, and then she kind of started to make her stepdaughter like eat this in this way and kind of feel self conscious of herself. And I mean, I'm saying this just kind of on the top of my head because I haven't watched the movie in ages, like in years and years. But I do remember this this one scene. I don't quite remember why it happens, but I do remember that it happens. So. Uh, I think, yeah, I think maybe, I suppose spoiling, it's mean, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna spoil it. So, like, the stepmom, she gets an axe and she, like, tries to, like, cut her stepdaughter because, 
of some reason. I think maybe I think maybe she's jealous of like how uh, her new husband is more into her daughter than her other daughter. And yeah, but anyway, she starts going after her with an axe. And yeah, I mean, axes going after the finest. Uh, that's just creepy, creepy. So yeah, that that kind of also affected me for a while. Uh, I mean, I would say it's still to this day one of the scariest, at least scariest Norwegian movies I've seen. Not that I've seen that many scary movies. Like, as a general rule, but, yeah. Uh, then we have another interesting one. So, okay, so this one, I think it's not really one people would think of as scary. as was part of it. Yeah, it's scary, but, like, yeah. And a lot of my friends, like, around my age, they started watching this movie and this franchise when I was, when I were, like, eight, nine, ten, when we, yeah, as was the word, like, seven, six, I thought some more, but, like, a lot of them have said like they have memories from it when they were eight, nine, and saw it in the cinemas, and they were watching it like from an early age. I think, well, I, like when I was young, young, I wasn't really that interested in, into it, in it. But then when I was, I think I was twelve. Yeah, I was twelve. So I was at my friend's house, and he was starting to watch this movie. It was Lords of the Rings, the Lords of the Ring, the Lord of the Rings, so the first movie. And uh, honestly, I couldn't even get, again, that was this kind of pattern, but yeah, I couldn't even get five minutes into it before I was just so creeped. I think, I think yeah, I think there's like a attack from like the bad guys in like very early in the movie, but yeah, uh, yeah, it was it five, ten minutes into the movie, and I was just, the bad guys just looked so creepy, and I was just so scared, so I could not finish it, or just also, again, ran out of the room, I, I could not finish it. Of course, I had a book with me, so I just ran out of the room and then started reading a book. I've always been a book reader, uh, but yeah. Uh, so and then I kind of, after that, I kind of just kind of wasn't really that interested in watching a lot of rings. So I actually never saw the whole movie until I was twenty. But then also a friend of mine uh, like had to say like, "Oh, you haven't seen it. You have to see it. You haven't seen it." So we started watching it, and then afterwards I'm talking about like, "Ah, oh, yeah, it's good, but it's a bit long," and then like. It's not long. And yeah, uh, the first time I saw the whole of the Lord of the Rings was the extended editions. So I suppose, yeah, I was there for a long time. I suppose now, I I mean, I saw the whole of them and I joined them. Uh, I mean, now I can watch the whole movies without being scared. Well, without being that scared. Uh, but to me, a uh, controversial opinion, I kind of prefer The Hobbit. I really enjoy that over the Lord of the Rings. I think, like, like in a way, The Hobbit is kind of more happy-go-lucky, more whimsical, while The Lord of the Rings is more like scary villains all the time, bad guys all the time, and yeah, I kind of love like the more feel, the feel and feel and uh, vibe to The Hobbit more really. Though it's not like I've seen that a thousand times, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, The Lord of the Rings. I have an interesting history with that. And then next we have. Doctor Who, so the one TV series there. Uh, so uh, Doctor Who, like I saw the first, uh, well, the first, I saw like the first season of the, uh, like well, the, of the new version from two thousand and five. Yeah, it was the one came out. I saw that one. That's, that's actually the only season that's been on Norwegian TV, at least lately. I don't know about the old version, but like the new version, the only season was the first season with Eccleston. Eccleston. And I enjoyed it. I didn't love it, but I, like I sat by every week and I enjoyed it. And then I didn't. It didn't just kind of season two didn't come out on TV, and I wasn't all that bothered. But like Doctor Who has always kind of been that thing that people always talk about. And um, I suppose with Doctor Who, I'm kind of this weird person. Where, like I mean, I like lots of fandom things. I like I like like fantasy stuff. I like and I don't really like science fiction, but like I suppose I like like stuff. I like 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 science fiction in movies, but not like in books, but like, yeah, I really like fantasy and that whole shebang. Uh, so like, and people always, often talk about Doctor Who in like fantasy, uh, fantasy environments. So like, oh, there's a new Doctor Who season coming out, and it's a new Doctor Who season coming out, and I'm like, hmm, interesting, interesting. But I kind of often be like, maybe it's something for me, because I do like time travel. Uh, so actually, I have seen some Doctor Who episodes now and then, I haven't really, well, I suppose, I have, after a while, I, have, I ended up seeing all the episodes up until Jodie Whittaker. Not like I'm against her, I just haven't seen those episodes, just because, life. 
Uh, but yeah, so yeah, and then the one time when I was kind of watching a few episodes, like, yeah, there was a kind of went well, well on TV when I was someplace. And uh, uh, what episode did I see that mar that scarred me? You can guess, probably. It's Blink. Yeah, Blink just was so scary. I could not blink myself for like weeks afterwards. I was so emotionally scarred from that. I was scared of sleeping. I, I mean, yeah, that scarred me for for a long, long time. Uh, yeah, Blink is just amazingly creepy. Episode is just. I I mean I suppose it's it's not you know like it's one of those episodes people talk about like it's a scary episode no yeah I agree it is a seriously scary episode and it's just it's it's kind of funny because it's not just it's not kind of because the monster is more more like because of the how the monster works because like if you blink they'll take you so yeah I mean it's kind of, that kind of, I mean kind of makes you paranoid so kind of that paranoia of that thing yeah uh yeah messes with your head definitely. It does that. And then last but not least, I also have an um have a story to do with uh, uh Pirates of Caribbean. Uh so I actually well I suppose this like the first movie came out when I was came out two thousand three, I think. Yeah, two thousand three. And then I don't really remember like thing thinking about it at all. It just kind of came out. I didn't just didn't really think about it. And then I think the first time I kind of watched it was and again, you can notice my passion here. Uh, when uh, I think it was like four years, three years later, 2006, yeah, 2006, so three years, years later. So, like at this point in time, you had the first trilogy was out. And we were together with some friends and we were kind of put on a movie. And then people were like, oh, this is a fun movie. And I'm like, okay, probably cool. So, I just started watching it. And like, just again, the first five minutes, like, like not even before, like, not even when there's a present time, but like when there's a prologue, when Elizabeth is, is on the boat on her way to Caribbean, yeah, that part scared me so much. I again ran out of the room. <laughs> like, I think maybe at this I don't think I ran out of room, but I do know that I kind of stopped watching and kind of walked out of room anyway. So yeah. But this time, actually, I... No, when did I see the... Oh, because I did see the whole movie a few years later. I think I actually saw it... Maybe just two years later? I think maybe it was just... Yeah, actually, just two years later. So, yeah, it wasn't, like, that long a time, but still, it was a few... Or, like, it wasn't, like, days, it was years. Like, one or two years after that. So, yeah. That's that's my experience with it, and then also interesting uh, opinion. Uh, like a lot because a lot of people seem to like really love the first part of Pirates of Caribbean and like have differing thoughts about other movies. I really enjoy all of them, uh, and I was like the fifth one and fourth, fifth and the fourth one. I also really enjoy. People really don't like those, but I enjoy those. So yeah, and uh, yeah, this was a fun little insight into my scary memories of movies and um yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon bye